the Scarecrow's wedding. <laughs> Betty O'Bally and Harry O'Hay were scarecrows. They scared of lo lots of crows every day. Harry loved Betty and Betty loved Harry. So Harry said, Betty, my beauty, let's marry. Let's have a wed a wedding, the best wedding yet, a wedding that no one will ever forget. What's that, what's that book, huh? Um, the Scarecrow's Wedding. Betty agreed, so they hugged and they kissed. Then Betty said, Harry, my dear, let's make a list. Just as you say, answered Harry O'Hay, so they wrote down the things they would need on the day. A dress of white feathers, a necklace of shells, lots of pink flowers, <laughs> two rings and some bells. Then Harry gave Betty O'Bally his arm and the scarecrow set off on a hunt round the farm. They hadn't gone far when they spotted some geese. Oh, geese, if you will, give us, give us a, a feather, <laughs> a piece. <laughs> you can come to our wedding, the best wedding yet. Um, the wedding um, that no one will ever forget. Um. No, not yet. We will hug the geese and they gave each and they each gave a feather. Hooray, cried the scarecrows. They hugged and they kissed and they hurried back home and crossed the dress off their list. Betty O then Harry gave Betty a bally his arm. They set off once more on their hunt round the farm. A spider offered to sew them together. <laughs> they hadn't gone far when they spotted some cows gathered round and the bells round their neck made a wonderful sound. Ring-a-ding-ding, ring-a-ding-ding. Ding. ring a ding ding Oh, cows will... Oh, shut up. Oh, cows will please come and make your bells ring for our wedding. A uh, wonderful wedding, the best wedding yet. A wedding that no one will ever forget. Yes, me the cows, we can tinkle our bells. Then a crag scuttled up with a necklace of shells. Two mice found two rings in a bin. They were certain rings that belonged to an old farmhouse curtain. Hooray, cried the scarecrow. They hugged and they kissed. Pink flowers are only the things on our list. Then pity, oh dear, I can find those. I can find those. Um, why don't I pick some while I have a dose? Pink flowers. Pink flowers. Was this a big stripy bee? I can find you some pink flowers. Follow me. So the bee led the way as they travelled for hours till they came to a field full of pretty pink flowers. Harry stood thinking, I won't pick them yet. I need to find water to keep their stalks wet. Just follow me, croaked a lumpy old, old fool. Yeah. Just follow me. Yeah, Croaked a lumpy old toad. There's a lovely wet pool at the top of this road. They climbed up the road, which was ter terribly steep. I'm tired, said the toad, so they stopped for a sleep. Early the next morning they came to a pool. This is water. It's beautifully cool. Nah, just need a bucket to carry in a jug or a vase or a cup or a tin. I think I can help you, squirreled a squarely old snail. I can show you the way to a very fire pail. The snail set off 
and the scarecrow set off on their way, but the snail was too slow. It took more than a day. Betty was worried. What ha what's happened to Harry? Where is this scarecrow I'm planning to marry? The farmer came by with a frown on his face and he made a new scarecrow to take Harry's place. Good day, said the scarecrow, I'm Reginald Rake. He took Berry's hand and gave it a shake. Together, we, we told her, we make a fine pair, you're already quite pretty, apart from your hair. Then he jumped in the tractor and told her, hop in, I'm a really good driver, let's go for a spin. But Betty said no. I must wait here for Harry. He is a scarecrow and planning to marry. We're planning our wedding, the best wedding yet, the wedding that no one will ever forget. Regno laughed. You'll be here waiting forever. Forget about Harry. He's not even clever. I must be the cleverest scarecrow alive. I can sing lots of songs. I can dance. I can drive. I'm dashing. I'm daring. I'm as cool as I can be. I can even voice some out rings just watch me and see and he took out a big fat cigarette from a pocket the farmer has foolishly left in his jacket but smoking is bad for you betty explained i really ought you should be feeling ashamed don't be a fuss put said Reginald rake my smoke rings are staggering no, make no mistake he struck up a light and tried hard to smoke, but straight away he started to splutter and choke. What happened next was completely unplanned. The lighted cigarette tumbled out of his hand. He burned himself. No, it fell to the ground and it started a fire. Betty screamed help as the flames flickered higher. So she got problems. Like that, so she, that she got um thingied, burnt. But Reginald Rake said, "I better be off," as he blounded away with a terrible cough. Yes, that fire off he went. Yeah. Then suddenly, who should appear from the farm but uh, Be Harry O'Hay with a pail and his aunt. Betty cried, "Betty, oh my future wife!" He poured the water and saved Betty's life. Oh no, I can't read this now. Right. Look. She ripped it. Yes. Look at that. Yep, can't read that now.